In today's Bravo tutorial for beginners, I will walk you through all of the important email marketing features of Bravo to give you a complete understanding on how to use Bravo and how to actually implement it onto your business. Now, you can use my affiliate link down below to get yourselves a completely free Bravo account, including unlimited contacts. And when upgrading to a paid plan, you can also use the code Krause to save an additional 50% off all of your purchases. Once right here, we can then claim or discount or create our free account. We can do this by either signing up through Google, Apple or through email and password. We can then put in our personal details, including our address. Right here we can then go for our Bravo plan. Now we can for example get started with the free plan with up to 300 emails per day and also unlimited contacts. However, if you do want to take your email marketing serious, you can also go for any of the paid plans right here, where you can then for example remove the Bravo branding. You can then customize your plan. Bravo is mostly going to charge you based on amount of the actual monthly emails sent out, so make sure to keep that in mind. Now that we are on the Bravo dashboard, we can finally get started. On the left we can see an overview of all of the important parts of our Bravo account. In my case I'm just going to get started with the contacts tab right here. Here we can actually manage our contacts and we can also import them if we are for example migrating from another platform. So I'm just going to click on here and we can then either import our contacts, companies, deals and notes. We are going to mainly focus on email marketing so I'm going to select contacts right here and we can then basically, con uh, basically import this through a file, copy paste or import it directly from another tool. I would recommend you to just use a CSV file. Drag this inside right here and we will then have to simply map our data so that this is going to correctly import all of the information. In this case the first name is going to be the first name. The last name is going to be the last name. And then just continue with this. Most of the time this does a pretty good job by default. Make sure to just quickly go through this and double check if everything has been correctly imported. We can then select the list where we do want to actually import this onto. I'm just going to select the your first list right here and I'm going to confirm this. Now we can view all of our contacts right here. We can always open them up to get an in-depth view of everything going on regarding this exact contact. This is going to include the sent emails, delivered percentage and a lot of other great information inside right here. We, if we would for example want to directly email them, we could do that right here or we could actually add a task, call them and so on. We are also going to see the history and all of the lists associated with these contacts. But what exactly are lists? Well, lists are just static lists of different kind of contacts. They are going to work differently to segments which are going to be more dynamically. So to actually set up a list just click on create a list. You can then put in whatever you want. So I'm just going to put in imported and we can then select a folder and we can then basically uh, have this list right here and we can basically just categorize our contacts. Segments on the other hand are going to work way more dynamically. You can create a new segment and you can then either use any of the templates or you can also start from scratch and this is basically just going to create a dynamic list based off the filter which you are going to give them. So if you for example do want to um, add a filter based on the first name or if you do want to for example create a segment for all of the people who currently have their birthday and so on then you could actually do that inside right here. Now you can also view companies right here but, but this isn't too important. Let's rather now actually connect our professional domain onto Bravo so that we don't have this annoying pop-up right here. Now I'm just going to head over to the profile and then to senders, domains and dedicated IPs. Right here we can then add our own sender so I'm just going to click on add sender and make sure to put in your name as well as the from email. And we will then have to authenticate our domain. I would highly recommend you to actually add a professional domain onto Bravo as this is going to significantly improve the overall deliverability of your emails. So I'm just going to click on authenticate domain. I'm going to use the domain krausemedia.xyz and I'm going to add this. As you can see I do have my domain hosted on Hostinger so I will just have to log in onto my account. And as you can see now our domain has been authenticated. We will still have to once again go through the sender process 
And now we have successfully added our sender and also our professional domain, which we can then use for landing pages for example. But how do we actually set up landing pages inside Brevo? Well, to do that head over to contacts on the left and then click on landing pages. Landing pages is a great way of basically automatically get contacts onto your email marketing list. So I'm going to create a new landing page right here. Brevo is actually going to offer tons of templates, which is really nice to getting started out. You can see them right here. You're going to have quite a lot of different options uh, available. Now, some of them look better, some of them look a little bit on the old side, but I'm just going to get started from scratch right here. We can then set up our page preference to basically set our brand colors, our brand logo, and so on. And now that we have set our own brand style, we can click on done, and this is automatically going to be updated across all our landing pages and so on. We can then, for example, get started by importing certain pre-made sections on the left right here. So I'm just going to, for example, add this section. And as you can see, we can now fully customize this. We can actually drag this around with these blocks in the background, which I really like. This is a recent update and overall uh, with the new updates, this has been Basically, this is way more beginner friendly right now. As you can see, you can just drag this around. You can click on everything, customize it. You can change the text. You can basically edit this however you want uh, with this new editor, which I honestly really like. We can then add standalone elements like a container, a text, or whatever we want onto this. And we can then, for example, also right here, drag this around. Now, what I really like is that you can actually also create multiple pages inside right here. So this kind of can work as a website uh, if you only have a certain amount of pages of course and if you do want to keep it simple. We can then basically fully customize this to our own likings. We can, we can then for example also link this button right here onto a form inside our Brevo account by simply just adding that link right here. So overall you have quite a lot of different options with the landing pages but I don't want to bore you so I'm just going to exit this for now. But how can we actually now send out email marketing campaigns? Well, let's head over to the campaign step for that. Now, Brevo does allow you to create email marketing templates, which you can then reuse along all of your emails, but let's not get into that right now, and let's rather get started by creating a simple email marketing campaign. We can put in a campaign name, so I'm just going to put in test123, and we can then create this campaign. Now, as for the sender, we are going to use the Elias Krause LLC, and we are going to manage the sender, we are going to change that to our professional email address right here. Now, by the way, please ignore this banner right here. I just have this because uh, this is my second Brevo account and usually Brevo doesn't allow this. So this is kind of a workaround. Now, as for the recipients right here, you will have to basically just add either a list or a segment of people where you should actually send this towards. I'm just going to add my own list right here uh, under the first folder, the your first list, which we have used and where we have imported all of our contacts. You can then actually also don't send this to unengaged contacts, which is a nice feature as Brevo obviously is going to bill you based on the emails sent per month. So with this, you can save yourself some money. I'm just going to save this. We can then add the subject. This should be, of course, something which is going to incentivize the people on actually opening up the email. You can use AI for this. However, you can also add emojis or a variable like contact attributes, like the name, first name, and so on onto this. So I just said that, hey, first name, so hey, Elias, for example, have you heard about our new discount? And then I've also added a preview text. This is obviously super basic, but you will have to customize this with your own email. Now I'm going to save this and we can then actually also create our email. Um, you do have some wireframes available right here, which you can use as a template. You can, however, also use the full on template library right here to use pre-made emails and to then actually customize them for your own. So in this case, I'm just going to use this template right here as this is going to be for a special offer. You can then actually also see the design tab on the left and under style you can see the brand library and you can set up your brand right here to then basically automatically get all of the data. So right here you can set up your logo, we can then set up our brand colors, we can use the fonts and we can basically customize this by also adding social media links onto this. So I'm just going to add my YouTube channel. 
And this is then automatically going to be reused later on. And this is also going to be applied to the template right away, as you can see. Now, obviously this logo from me right here isn't really ideal for this. Um, you would have to rather use a horizontal uh, logo, but I'm just going to go with this one nonetheless. We can then basically change the text right here. We can select certain elements and by selecting them, we are going to have the overall settings on the left. We can change the images by simply clicking onto them. We can change the text. We can drag this around we can once again fully change this to our own likings with our own copywriting and so on you can actually also use AI to get some help with the overall generating of text I would really recommend you to take advantage of this as this can really fasten up the whole email marketing process I'm just going to save and quit this for now and usually you can then either schedule or instantly send out your emails right here. But let's rather now get to the arguably most important and most powerful part of the whole Bravo dashboard. So let's head over to the automation step. With these marketing automations, as you can see, you can build up easy automations for effortless growth and you can basically automate uh, quite a lot of different stuff in the customer journey. So let's create our first automation. Now, as always, Brevo is going to offer you quite a lot of great templates for this. So for example, you can right away set up an abandoned cart sequence, a marketing activity sequence, an anniversary date, and a lot of other stuff. You can improve engagement, increase traffic, increase revenue, and a lot of other stuff. You can see the templates right here, but you can actually also get started from completely scratch. So I'm just going to get started with the new editor. And this actually also has been updated. I really like the new interface. This has been basically updated quite a lot and it is now way more powerful. So first off, as for the starting point, we will have to add a trigger. This could be anything from a deal being created, an email being opened to simply just a contact being added to a certain list or segment. In my case, I'm going to say that whenever a contact is on our uh, your first list on our your first list so on the default list whenever a contact is being added onto this this automation is going to start as for the actual actions we then do have quite a lot of different things which can occur right after this so you can add the contact to another list you can remove them from a list you can send out an email obviously this is quite uh, quite default but this is super powerful you can send an email notification send out an sms call a webhook and a lot of other stuff you can also right inside here create a deal automatically now what i really like is the sending out email option so you can for example automatically send out welcome emails or uh, marketing you can basically also automatically send out marketing emails and a lot of other stuff brevo allows you to also seamlessly integrate a b splits conditional splits and a time delay onto this so if you would for example want to add a delay of let's say one day uh, onto this you can simply add that right here and you can then actually do this now please note that this new editor right right now is in the beta so some features may be limited right now but they are going to update it real soon and they're going to add a lot of other stuff on that onto this so please make sure to actually use this this is super powerful now besides the email marketing features which we have now covered brevo does also offer a lot of other great stuff which i'm planning to make a course on in the future so please make sure to like and subscribe if you do want to see that. Otherwise, make sure to use Brevo with my link down below, which would actually support me quite a lot. I will see you in the next one.